Okay, there we go. Hello everyone, um, welcome back to our in between series um, of Behind the Grind. Um, I think it's Watch the Grind on YouTube, we've got the, the playlist and everything. So we've just finished recording episode 18, in which we managed to get ourselves our stoked fires going with the bellows and everything behind, um, made ourselves the blast brick, which we finally got our steel. Okay. Um, I already explained in the episode, we are going to get a bit, few things built that we don't usually like. For example, I'm going to get the R excavation done so we can upgrade our tool. Um, and I'll explain that in like episode 19. And we're going to do the same sort of thing with the draw systems just to make our life easy because then I can organise things properly. Um, and yeah, we're going to just kind of see where we can get going with it really. So, um, first things first I think for us is we're going to look at the R, R excavation. Yeah. Um, I think we had everything else we needed. Look, we got the platinum and everything. But if we actually type it in, like so, okay. Am I being dumb again? Is this not going to show up or something? Okay, let's just do it like this then. Modifier, okay. Um, sigil of holding, eh? Upgrade cap. Yeah, we don't need to use the silk gem yet. This is what we're after. Okay, so 25 of these. So we have got a few maze decorative bricks. We've got rock crystals. We've got the platinum. We just needed the steel. We've got everything else, I believe. So guys, uh, if we grab ourselves two steel, one platinum, um, and we need a modular plate. Do we have any modular? Where? I'm sure we did, or do we have to make that out of something else? What's going on? Um, Let's check actually, I think we do have to make that out of molten alloying is molten redstone, iron and aluminium. Okay, so that's why we didn't bother because it's pretty easy to make. So we need one, two. One, two. Yep, so we've got to burn that like that. And then we just need two redstone, yeah? One, two. Nice and sweet. All good. We'll let that melt down into that module for us, and we will just go and grab ourselves the rock crystal bits we need, okay? Uh, luckily, we've got two up here, so we need them. We've got that there, which we already kind of prepared for. Where's the between lines? That's where we put all that stuff there. Great. So that's the top row sorted, this part sorted, uh, twilight, which is this way. There we go. See, I knew we had everything for it. Don't just talk rubbish. No, I knew what we were doing. We knew what we were doing the entire time, guys. Don't worry about it. Ugh. So, um, we don't need to turn them into plates. We just need you to hurry up so you can mix. Thank you. We do need to turn these into plates, though. So, we're going to put them there. We're going to switch out these hammers since we don't need this one now. We just need this one. Uh, we are going to grab a block of. We'll go five blocks of that for now, actually. We don't, we don't really care, we just got to get it done. So we'll send it. Um, that's going to be so great once we can actually interfere that with the armor. Yeah, hey, Flame, I'm back, mate. Told you, five, ten minutes. I like to tell the truth, don't worry. I say what I mean. So yeah, as you heard in the last episode, man, we're just working at um, getting a few bits done we needed. For now... Um, we're getting this R excavator. I think you said that you've played this before, haven't you? So if you have, um, you probably got the similar thing and you know what I'm talking about. It's just the excavate modifier so that I can actually get my R's and stuff better. You know, 25 at a time instead of bloody one. Because I need like loads of obsidian to make my armor invincible and stuff like that. But yeah. Yeah, yeah, I told you. I'm not, no, I'm not, I told you. I'm not too far so far, man. I'm at age three at the moment. This is age three. Uh, si episode 16 I think I got to age 3 um, we're going through this one so far on my own um, before I decided to do videos I only got up to age 4 so I'm still kind of learning at the same time but I figured you know I've got nothing else to do why not just make kind of videos at the same time hopefully people like you can just kind of watch along join in and we can have a bit of fun you know um, alright we've got some steel now just need two of these. Is that an Enderman? 
What are you doing here? Yay. Dead. Ooh, look, 300 gold. Thank you. Where's the angry sound coming from? You're dead. Parting me from the beyond. It's okay, though. I'm afraid no ghost. There we go. I believe there's our plates that we need. Um, we've just made this, haven't we? Yeah. We don't need it to become a gear. We want it to become this. Thank you. Oh, you mean you meant you got age two? Yeah, right. Okay, sorry. Just being silly there. So you got to age two only. Yeah. Oh man, you. you I don't know if you're still playing it. If you do, hopefully this will make you kind of pick it back up. That's the whole point of it. Like I want people to be able to kind of come along and play it with me. Um, and by that I mean just obviously I'm playing along and then you can kind of watch the video and like, oh, okay, that's, you know, that's how you do that. So I'm hoping it will kind of show people what's going on. You got corrupted. Oh, you got backups, you know. That happened to me on one of my episodes, man. Um, my original, when I first started doing the recording, I had, I did episode one, yeah. And then I did episode two when I was recording and oh, my file got corrupted. I wasn't happy. What, on the whole Minecraft? Yeah, but you got backups. Like, my, my, my thing messed up when I went to the Betweenlands and I had to just run a backup. What um, launcher were you using? Because obviously you've got different ones like Twitch, Forge. Um, I use MultiMC myself. They're corrupted too. Um, I don't know what to say. Hopefully if you watch this, it might just tempt you just to start over again. <laughs> might. <laughs> Or you use T launcher. Uh, I'd say, I mean, I think it's nothing wrong with that as far as I know. It shouldn't have an issue. I'd, well, you, you could try a different launcher and just see what happens. Like, no matter, even if it's corrupted, it should have backups that you can, you know, just kind of import. import. Um, all you do is you go to, um, in fact, yeah, let me kind of just show you because I've had to do this in the past and, show, and I showed other people. I didn't actually show it, so I'll just show it. So if anyone, if it happens to anyone, it can fix it. When you're playing like the game, you can just do slash backup and it will actually save set backup for you. And then whenever it actually it's what you know when you do it, all you do is you click single player, yeah. You click on the world, right, and then you've got backups. Yeah. All you do is you click your backups, it's got your time and everything from when the last one was. You click it and you click restore backup and it will restore that world back to that backup for you, so you can just kind of pick up where you left off. It's nice and easy. You paid a guy to restore your file. No, mate. I hope I hope you're lying. I hope you're lying. Don't be don't be telling me that you didn't. You were only at age two and you've paid someone a hundred bucks to repair the files. That's silly. I mean, obviously, I guess if you don't know, but paying someone a hundred bucks to repair your files, that they're ripping you off. There's, I don't see how that could be an issue. <laughs> you want those files? What's in them files, eh? <laughs> for for you to want to pay a hundred bucks for them, <laughs> what exactly is in them files? <laughs> Sounds like some dodgy stuff, dude. <laughs> Come on, hurry up and load. There we go. All right then. I think we need one of these, don't we, as well? Because you've blown your old run up, eh? Sounds like you don't have much luck with technology, mate. So, we get the RS excavator. And as you can see here. Um, so it gives us like 25, yeah? And there's a reason for that. So... It will only let you boo, I believe, 25 blocks at a time, like in one go or something like that. But it's basically like different pieces. Like, you know, like when you put redstone on, it only gives you a certain percentage. And to get the entire level, you need all 50. It's a similar thing with this. So what we can do now, yeah, is we're going to come over here. We've got two modifiers free on this tool. We can place it here. And boom. We're going to use one modifier. If we come down here on the right side, we'll see excavate. 25 out of 25, okay? 
So now we have this, we can finally get materials properly. Finally. All right, Flame. You know, Flame is just flexing right now, people, in the stream, on the in the stream chat. He's just like, yeah, I got money for PC. He's just flaunting it about, you know. <laughs> Oh, that's good then, you see, because you know what that means, Flame? That means, yeah, when, when, I, when my channel gets bigger and if you're still here watching, yeah, and I can get subscribers, that means you can subscribe, doesn't it? Yeah, you can share, the, you can share, share that money. That's what you can do. <laughs> right. Um, let's go up here. Oh, this is going to be so much better now, guys. You're gonna see. Uh, we do need to find some like quickly. What we can do, we can jump in the twilight if we wanted to. Should we? We've got this. We can add some more redstone. So we've got the extra speed as well. Just to make it absolutely ridiculous. Um, there we go. Let's grab that. Oh, you know when I get a bet, when I can make this out of a better tool, this is gonna to have stupid speed. You know. Like, that's only at 23 with just this. Then we get like freaking. Cobalt, because Cobalt's the fast one of the fastest, I believe. So we'll be making out of that. Right. Simplest way, let's jump in here quickly and see if we can find ourselves a tower. Okay. So for you guys watching this, just to kind of get what's going on behind the scenes, um, obviously we've, we've put our excavate on. Now, anyone that's kind of played other mod packs on Minecraft should might be familiar with it. So it's usually linked to the grave key. Yeah. On your thing so you've got like your numbers one two and all that yeah and that one just next to it it's got like a bit of a, like three symbols on that's the grave key all right and if you press that down while you mine the one block it will all excavate and mine everything kind of connected to it so like in our cases you can pick up loads of ours in one little go yeah like in this case like we've got all this stone yeah if I just hold this now boop, all gone just like that yeah as you can see straight away into my inventory okay so it's a really good way of obtaining more materials so once you get to this stage the game gets quite a little quite a lot easier yeah to be able to go get your materials come back and then just kind of put them there um, and obviously it luckily it works for harder materials so in this case like obsidian obviously is a hard material and not even with our speed it takes quite a while to obtain yeah um, now however because we've got this ability we can get it loads of it just in one go so normally it take a while to get this all we do we're gonna look as high as we can and we're gonna shift and destroy the one block the one block will be destroyed and poof all of it went into our inventory just like that guys yeah so I'm sure you guys can see how much more useful that's going to be yeah and I know everything might be a pain up until this point but like it's, you, can, you can see once you get to this point it's just so much easier um, I come in the twilight because you get them towers that I've got it in. Um, I could potentially get some water, and I, it's just we found you know that lava at the bottom that time, but I can't find it again. I don't know what's going on. It's really bugging me. It's, it's proper bugging me. We found like multiple lava pits that time, and we just can't find it again. I don't know what's going on. But for now, I don't think I can reach the camera. For now, we've got another tower over here. That's got just green. We're looking for a blue slime island. I don't know where we're going to get blue slime from. We might actually have to make this mixer thing, if I'm being honest with you. Because, let's look up there. Let's kind of destroy the one that's highest. I hope it'll reach to where we need. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. All of that in one go. And there we go. We got like 70 plus. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. So this is going to allow us to get the obsidian we need to make our armor invincible pretty easy compared. Uh, we just got to kind of look out. They're a bit easier to see, so that's good. There we go. They're blue slimes. Hey guys, are you going to drop blue slime now? Please? I think these have been stopped from drop. <gasps> Blue slime! I need to get up there. We need to get up there and just be able to farm them or something. 
Um, look at them just falling. Oh, maybe we should just like empty every, all the trees around here. What do you reckon, guys? Like, if we empty all the trees. <laughs> you still there, Flame? You know, it's really weird, this Twitch because it says one viewer, but it also says one viewer if I'm like watching, because obviously I have it up to make sure it's all running still properly. At least we get blue slimes from here. The reason I'm happy about this is because we can actually do embossment now. Um, so if any of you have done Tinker's Construct before, embossment's like um, a way of adding a trait from another material, but without actually having to put it as part of your, your making material. So with armor, steel, yeah, it gives you indomitable uh, trait, which actually increases your overall armor by quite a little bit. And we're going to be able to put that on, yeah. We're going to be able to actually put that on if we emboss without having to change out any of the materials for steel. Because steel plates, remember, give us a good toughness. But we already explained in the previous episodes, we want a low toughness on our plates. Because that way we can keep using sh stronger materials to get an insane amount of toughness. Normally you couldn't get like 11. Like honestly, if you make it out of thingy, you'll see where, where it goes wrong. This is a bit of a cheating, not even a cheating method. It's just kind of, if you know, you know, you know. That, was, that, has, that wasn't that was intended, okay? I didn't mean to keep, keep saying, you know. Um, <laughs> what we can do now, though. Oh, look at that. Boom. Bye-bye, <laughs> trees. Goodbye. Um, with the Astral Sorcerer, remember, guys, we, we did it so that we don't actually need to use, like, um, anything other than our pickaxe for stuff like wood and that, which means we can do our excavate, guys, on this stuff all day long. clear out forest it's nice and easy we will eventually get it on our actual axe um but for now just because we don't have it on anything else and i don't want to waste a lot of time with the axe we'll do that oh damn so that wasn't collecting i didn't realize it wouldn't wait it should though right i know i can add slime to my boots and make myself bouncy i know that but at the moment it's not something we need to get done for now, what we're doing is we need to be able to make each colour of the slime crystal. So we can we know how to make some magma slimes. Yeah, so if I put slime here, yeah. You to be able to do embossment, I think you need a block of gold, something else, and the green slime crystal, a blue slime crystal, and a magma one. Um, and you can only do embossment on an armor piece once and it's not removable. So we're going to do steel. Because later on we'll be using things like nightly slime to give us extra health and we'll be using emeralds because um, emeralds used to be good I guess I'm a tech guy not a building, building guy I don't know if that's a compliment or an insult <laughs> I know the building's not looking too great right now but <laughs> it will be it will be there eventually alright <laughs> eventually okay. oh man I can just come and chill around here and get loads of this stuff that's good Look at all the slimes. And I was worried. I was like, oh yeah, how are we going to find it? At least we know. I'm going to mark this area just to come around here and I can just kill them all. Nice and easy. We've got plenty for now for the purpose that we need. Um, let's bring this up. Then why are you doing SevTech? Bro, SevTech is, is our tech basically. No, it, it is and it isn't. It's it's just thingy. Like, the whole point of, I think, Minecraft is to be able to get all this extra tech. Otherwise, what's the point? Yeah? If I wanted to just build decoratively, I could just go buy a lot of decorative pack and then just spend my time on creative building. Really? Um, you know, most of this is kind of meant to be a bit of a mix of both, you know? Like, you can get extra bot blocks. So, once I've got the actual structures made that I need just for the production... Then I can look at making things pretty and building stuff. But until then, you know, I've just, like you say, I'm more of a tech guy than a builder guy. For me, I, it's all about efficiency. You know, it's all about efficiency and just making sense for now. But I don't know what this MC Eternal is that a few people recommended to me. Apparently, uh, no, it's not the same. And there's other mods, so maybe that's more based stuff, like, you know, a bit of a better mix. So I will be checking that out as well. So we're just going to put this here. Uh, we're going to put that there and just put blue slime. 
Blue slime. Done. Alright, we can just go home now. Move fast. I think when we get back as well, we're going to put that extra layer of redstone on our armor just to get that extra 20% boost again. Because now we should have the stuff to be able to make it stronger. You have your own building pack, eh? See, if we had the drawers, all it would take is one click on the drawer and then it would be done. Then there wouldn't be any issue. Yeah. See, otherwise we end up with loads of stuff like this because I get too lazy to do it. So what we'll do is we'll chuck all this here. And we're actually going to look because we should have enough steel built up now to build the drawers that we need. One drawer there and one drawer there should do. Oh, actually, no, the first thing I need. Uh, with Ender IO Immersive and Structures. That's not too bad. I mean, I'm assuming the, you've got to use the Ender IO in that for the builders. I think the builders are with Ender IO, aren't they? I don't know, there's so many bloody mod packs and everything and stuff, it's ridiculous to try and keep track of it all half the time. I got a few friends that like to build more with the, the builders and stuff like that. I don't think it's that great though. Like, honestly, I, I prefer to put a bit more effort in. Like, honestly, this doesn't look too great now, but that's only because I've been focusing on this. I've got to do episodes maybe where I'll just like behind the scenes where I just focus on making it look better, uh, which I will do. You know, but I'm by no means the best builder in the world at all. But I can make it look, you know, somewhat appetizing, <laughs> I guess. Oh, okay. Right. So yeah, we're gonna be looking at getting the steel embossment on these stuff. And make it invincible, which is going to be great. I don't believe it uses a thing, does it? And blocks take so long to do. I'll have to get the improved furnace done eventually so it doesn't take forever. Wish grinded modded. Sorry, say, don't know who that is. So now we've got the means to be able to get a load more of this stuff. Honestly to God, right, we, we should be able to just go and get loads. Where has it gone now? We're going to get some water. Yeah. And we're going to shoot down. Stop it. Out the door, thank you. Grab some water quickly. Where's the lava at? Where is it? Think, 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 think. Um, hmm. I should have marked likely like look lapis lead was it maybe down one of these yeah, I think it could have been like I was on the way down and maybe felt something or something like that we'll go check it out one of the best builders eh honestly some of the stuff I see people build in Minecraft I'm like proper thingy like you know, if any of you guys watching know, you know, if you've been playing Minecraft since proper just vanilla days, like years and years ago. Yeah, you, I mean, you, you used to just be able to watch on YouTube, you know, them compilations of the best builders and stuff, where it's like team of pro builders building just the most mind-boggling stuff you've ever seen. And it's great. I used to remember watching them and just be like, then, then you go on to Minecraft and be like, oh yeah, I'm going to build this. <laughs> like, oh, that looks sick. I'm going to try and build it. And then you build it. It's like, well, why didn't mine turn out the same? <laughs> Um, it's just the nature of life, isn't it? <laughs> Sometimes some people are better than others at other things. It's only an issue you want to be the best at everything. Which you can't... And no, I don't think anyone could say that because if you think you're the best at everything, you're, the, you're not really going to be happy because you can't be the best at everything. Like I say, I'm not the best builder. I'm not, not the worst as well. But it's something I, can, I don't really focus on straight away. Why do I seem to be moving slower down here? And do we have any lava? Come on, quickly, check, check, check. No, I just got a load of this stuff. 
But while we're here, guys, why not, right? Shift click. Done. Look at that. So much better to gain our material that we need now. Oh, what? We need more of this? Oh, not a problem. We need more of this. There we go. The only downfall is when you use Excavate, it does take your hunger down quite a bit. So you have to be a bit careful. Okay. We don't really need too much of that right now, so we'll just go grab that. Since we're looking for lava, not that. Just go around and around and around and around. And around. So if you can hear my buttons just kind of mashing away at the moment. I've got a bit of a cheap setup for now until obviously I get more involved in all of it. <laughs> Where is the lava? I don't want to spend a lot of time booking it out from the nether at the moment. I, honest to God, I found multiple lava spots and for the life of me now it's like they just want to hide away and it's just really annoying is it down here maybe come on no 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 it's not a bit down there is it no nope. <sighs> have a jump around and run around for what reason I know where there is some lava above ground but it's a bit of a walk away but hey this is the grind part anyway so we could just run over there look we've got some lava there liquid that's not any lava dark lens nickel loads of bits there yeah screw it you know what we can't find any other place at the moment so Oh, there's lava. <laughs> oh, we still miss so what's slow in the water. Maybe I should invest in the um, Astral Sorcery part of it. Maybe get some more perks. In fact, we might have some perks available quickly. Let's throw all this material up there for now. So we'll deal with you later. Um, give us our book. Let's have a look at our perks at the moment. Yeah, we got one available. So, if we were to do that though, we'd have to come down here, wouldn't we? Increase wind speed. Let's go take one, two, three, four. And I was hoping maybe just to not use too many, and I was thinking maybe of getting over there. At the same time, we did do this increase our mining speed, but we need to get over here to get the vampirism. I think we should have enough though to get there and there. Plus, we can always make a shifting star, well, an irradiated star later on. To kind of switch everything out. So that shouldn't be an issue. Okay, that's not a problem. For now, we'll get the swim speed. Because, yeah, that's 50% of anything will go to swim speed. Because otherwise, we're not going to be able to swim very fast. And we're not switching our armor back. So, let's have a quick look. Over here seems to be the way to go. Blub, blub, blub. Oh, uh, I feel so sluggish right now. You know, I just realised, don't I have a boat here? Yeah. What is even hitting me? Mr. Shark, you got to hurt yourself. Boat. There we go. Sorted. Oh, look at the little wolf. So, are you still there then, Think Creator of Flame? Any of you guys uh, got a building? I'm assuming Think Creator must be. You know, starting to throw shade in that. <laughs> oh. kind of work our way around here and we'll get to where we need to go. Honestly, I 
I think I'd have to, maybe I should watch one of my videos back and see where I actually found this. Like I found like three lava pits underground, with loads of lava that I could have turned to obsidian, nice and easy. Just vibing in tech to be here extended. Okay. <laughs> best bit is because of our pickup for whenever we do stuff. We can do this now. Apparently we can't do it. There we go. Hey guys, just give me a moment. I just got the missus thingy in, so just give me one moment. She just woke up. Let's see what she wants. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Right, so now just because we've got our excavate, look how easy. We don't even have to worry about mining over lava or anything, guys. Watch. We just hold the grave key and boop. Straight into our inventory. Same again. Just like so. These two separated just to annoy me. There we go, just sorted like that. Yep, and then all we do, we're not going to get enough that we need, but that we have to do for now, right? Um, we'll just try from the middle. <laughs> we didn't need to put that up. But there we go, we got ourselves a bit of that. Um, seems like a bit of a long way to go just to get that small amount as well, though. Uh, but wait a minute. Oh, wait, that wasn't even the pool, was it? Oh, there's loads of lava around here, wasn't there? Look at it all. Yes. Okay. Let's do this.
we'll step off that. We don't want to, <laughs> yeah. Um, and just like so. If we pick up the lava, let's get destroy this. I must have picked some up or something earlier on. Another time from here, maybe. Same process over and over again. You know, one thing obviously I've said, I think I've said it in the past as well, and I still do mean it. I don't want Twitch to be like second channel content. Like, I don't want people to feel like, oh, you know, he's only doing the rubbish stuff on here. Because obviously this stuff isn't maybe as entertaining, but it gives me a chance to kind of talk to you guys at the same time as well as show you the grindy part of the actual series and what it does take to get to where you need to be. So I'm hoping people that are enjoying it will kind of, kind of appreciate that fact. And that's also why I'm still streaming my main episodes as well. So you have still got that available. So if you are following me on Twitch, you know, you get to kind of watch all them episodes before. And so that's the reason for it, really. There we go. That's the middle part done. Maybe get over some one go, please. Ah, oh, that one little stray over there. I don't know. But that was the right amount. Like, you know, we got, we got, we've got like maybe a thingy at home as well. So I think, guys, we might actually have enough now. Um, which is definitely good. I don't think there's any more lava. Although, one second, wasn't there some lava over at the swamp? How far away from the swamp are we? It's only there. Just think it might be more beneficial to jump over to the swamp as well. Um, great single juice. Mate. There's a lot of light over there considering, right? Is it because of the fire? Yeah, it's just the fire. Okay. Plus when we're running as well, we're getting our XP for our astral sorcery, so... It all makes sense and it's worthwhile in the end. Jump, jump, jump. Do, 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 do. Can't catch me. Definitely way too fast for you guys to catch me. Look at this. Alright. Uh, apparently up and over the hill. Spell the eggs. No, no, no. Do, 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 do. Okay, climb, climb, climb. Damn it. Jump, jump, jump. Oh, we'll destroy this one. We'll do this to get. Oh! Is it any good that wasn't a big hole? Oh my god. Like that, for example. Damn. Yeah, we're gonna go around this edge. I'm sure. I'm gonna say, I'm. I'm Pretty sure we have like a lava pit over one of these sides mm -hmm. here somewhere. Get out of all this rubbish, please. Thank you. Looks pretty light over there, but I think it's here actually. There we go. And <laughs> watch, it's just gonna be this little bit in it. Oh well, better than nothing. Same process again, shift click. Not shift click, I don't know why I say shift. Grave key, grave key everybody. You can change all that in the configs, not the configs, the key binding as well. So if one of you guys wanna change it to something that you don't use maybe more often or whatever, or it's a bit easier to kind of put your finger over to, you know, there's no harm in it, you can always do that. It's, it's, it's nice at this level right now, it's like we don't really have to worry too much about stuff. We move too bloody quick the moment for things to really bother us that much but I do know this direction here will take us back towards our home so let's keep heading this way is it this way I said that with such confidence as well. yeah it's sort of this way what are you you're aluminium aren't you what's, what's this mine 
in mind. Thank you. Oh, got it. And now we can go get loads of coal, plus we've got the fortune as well, so it's going to work really well, guys. Excuse me. That? Oh, that's copper. I've got some copper there. I'm going to spend a decent amount of time kind of doing this um, and getting the bits that we need sorted. I'll just keep walking around this way. Yum. Is this tin? I think this is tin. Um, yeah, it is. Pretty easy to acquire, so. Is it being so high up? Just like that. There we go. Look, we've got a decent amount there done. Sorted. And we'll keep going. Keep going, we kind of died over here, which means this is where the boat is. Yeah, we died like what I can't remember what episode it was. It wasn't actually an episode, I think it was, I think it's in between on one of the uh, you know, watch the grind episodes. So, but it was a pain, I got kind of cornered and didn't expect it. But we managed to get it stuff back from this temple thing here, they were very annoying. You still down there, actually? Should we just come down and kill some of you for old time's sake? Yeah. Look, yeah, 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 yeah. Unfortunately, the sword isn't like super OP yet. Look at them all. Look at them all. They're all so angry. <laughs> You're nothing now. You're nothing. Look, look at you. Look at you. I can smack you from all the way back here. You can see how many of them spawn, though, guys. Like, you can see why. Like what I'd happened is this sand had fell behind me when I came down here and I was trying to back out and I didn't realise and yeah it just uh, they absolutely destroyed me nowadays though so I'll just there you go got quite a few of the bits that we needed for in the future where did we leave our boat did it despawn no or did the shark destroy I bet the shark destroyed it didn't it I hate you shark all right, I guess we'll just go to climb. We'll go climb up here. Yay! Up and down the mountain we go. Tree jumping. Yep. How far we got? Nah, not too far. Just over a little bit of lake. Jump. Da na 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 na. Under the sea. <laughs> Alright, climb up here. Keep up. We don't want to go down there. I do really still want to find that lava source, though, because we're going to need a bit of it. It's, it's great in the days when we can actually just create lava. Uh, not create lava, create um, obsidian. That's what Are you serious? There was one this close to my house as well. It, the game thinks it's funny, you know. Like the game's sat here laughing at me right now. I think we've all been there where we think the developer of a game's like somehow taken over like Supreme Command and they're just like <laughs> messing with us. <laughs> they're just sat there eating the donut messing with us like haha. <laughs> and we're just here raging for our lives. Oh, 
least that speed's definitely helping now as well with this mining, which is good. Just like so. Nothing big, you just get that done like that. Oh. And we're gonna pick this up here. Oh, it picked up quite a bit. I didn't want didn't realise it would do that there. It's not a problem though. Pick it all up. Mine, 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 mine. And just like so. You give me this and then I can put it oh wait. Why would I even stop? There we go. Just like so. And pick up the last bit. Why did I need the obsidian? Oh damn, see we just got lost. <laughs> um it's for one of the modifiers, man. Um so one of the modifiers for Tinker's tools or armor, yeah, is I think it's resilience or resistance, um or reinforce no there's resistance, it's reinforcement, yeah. Um and each reinforcement plate that you make um and put on a piece of armor or a weapon decreases the chance that your weapon or armor will take durability loss by 20%. So if you can put five on each piece, then you know you, it's unbreaking. Can't break, so it makes an invincible tool. So because we've got four pieces of armor, you know, I needed like eight obsidian for each piece, so it's like 20. So that's why we needed all the obsidian really, mate, just because we wanted to make all of that from, and I wanted a bit for in the future, so. Since we were over where the lava was, I figured maybe we'd pick it all up, right? Okay. So unrefined stuff like that goes here for now. Okay. Yeah, we need to get them draw sword, which we're going to do. Because at the moment we're still having to do this. It's not fun. Well, we got sharky teeth. Shark meat, which is down there. We got some eggs, some feathers. That's that. That's the XP that's for in the future. Not that we need much. Okay. So now we've got plenty of this stuff going for us. Just ditch that bit in the box. We don't need that. Okay. Some tin and a million lead and silver got. It's mainly iron and stuff we're gonna be needing for this conversion here. Well, we made three blocks, not too bad. We'll just go put the rest of the blocks in there, why not? We'll go and get more iron we can't really need to in a minute. So, what we need, um, so we've got six plates here, yeah. Um, so we're going to need 14 more plates, which means we need 14 more of these. So we're going to need 28 gold smelted. Just like so. Go on, you get smelting. You can come with me. Get put away there. So, at least the excavate is worth it now. It's going to help us get everything we need sorted. Might end up extending this a bit because normally what I like to do is like a bit of a five by five, so like I have five space here to use and then each like different mod. So I'll actually see. I think it ends up being like a twenty seven by twenty seven room or something. Um, but we will make it look nicer. Okay. Oh, and we are gonna get this automated as well. We definitely need to pick up. Too long, really. Oh, it's, is that it? Oh, yeah, we only needed the four, then, didn't we? There we go. So, we just need enough obsidian. Which is enough there. Done. Alright. 
So we've got the reinforcement plates we need, but it's not 100%. Bear. <laughs> Let's burn for a moment. Let's see this armor heal itself up a bit because we've not got the magma things to kind of make at the moment for it. Why is the helmet not like feeling a bit like everything else? Is it just randomly doing it now and again? Or is it doing like the most damage first? Let's try and get on now. Eat some food. Some grub. We're taking a bit more damage last time. Oh, I won't die, don't worry. <laughs> on one of my episodes on episode 17, this is one of the ways to gain armor levels really easy. Um, the only thing is I've taken my totem pole down which gives me extra resistance <laughs> but um, this is one of like, the OP ways basically um, like I use this setup here to place cobblestone and other bits and bobs you know to level up like this um, pickaxe and that so I can sit in the hole and just kind of constantly leave it alone and then I've got this here for my movement, for my astral sorcery. I can just leave it like that. And it will just move around constantly for me at a really fast pace. That gets me my experience for the astral sorcery book. So I can e get extra perks now and again. And that just helps level the armor. Like, look, now that's healed. It's all good. Oh, one moment, guys. Just give me one second. I have to be right back. Okay, sorry about that guys. Just the doctor's calling. Figured I had to answer it, right? <laughs> okay. So now we've got all these, we can come over here and just make this invisible. But yeah, as I was saying, uh, like Flame, normally I make, you know, the totems that you can kind of make, you can make ones with resistance. So I did have it here, but I destroyed it like afterwards. But when you've got that on, you take even less damage, so you can spend in the fire for quite a long time without actually having to even eat food. And that's how kind of one of the ways I show people how to level up your armor, so you can put lots of modifiers on it, which is what you need. For now, we have got enough to have to do. So we've got to do this five times with it. And it's unbreakable. Yay. unbreakable like another time I can always level it up and get more modifiers I'm almost getting an extra modifier straight away I know there's some other things I can put on like um, to add a few more extra boosts for it but that, that that's good that's that's gonna do for now um, oop. now we have invincible armor and invincible tools wonderful now when we work towards it, it's going to just work out a lot better for us. Um, so these green crystals, how are we making them again? So it's just going to be sand or silt with dirt and that. Yeah, that, that's it really. Okay. Um, we'll get a few of them made now then. So I think we've got, is it here? There's the blue ones, so we'll grab the blue ones. Cause how are we making the blue again? Sand and dirt again. And it's only the magma ones that are more difficult, isn't it? Okay. That's not an issue. So, if I grab that block, do this until I get 64. There we go. We'll just turn 64 into it. There we go. So, we need one, two. And we've 
some sand down here, right? One, two. So. Oh, wait, this won't make as many as I think. Damn it. Oh, well, 16 crystals is still way too many what we need anyway, so it's okay. Um, wait, what? Wait, what? Oh, I grabbed the wrong one. Did I? Yeah, yeah, I need a green one. So what am I doing? Damn it. That's for the magnets. Go away. Where, where is it? Where are they? There it is. See? Congealed. Oh, wait, did we have blue congealed up there too? Yeah, we did. Okay. I don't know why I was worried then before. See? Just forget things sometimes. It's all good. Yeah, just do that. No biggie. We'll go down here because I'm pretty sure it's saved in there, yeah. There we go. Now we have them bits, all we do is we cook them into the crystals. So we'll put them there. The helper system will take care of the rest for us. So now we can look at this and we can see. We've got all these here. Let's grab them. We need to make the magma ones now, yeah? Um we have to combine these to make the magma things, and then we got them left over. So if we do this, okay, we're going up to 64, which means we need to go get 64 blaze powder, does it? Really? It'll take a little bit of time. It's not difficult, but it takes a little bit of time, that's all. Oh. You know, I don't know if I'm the only kind of one person like this, like the doctor to come and um, it's going on about, you know, flu jab because it's like coming up to that time of year again and I'm diabetic, so they automatically offer it me. And I always refuse. I always have ever since, like, what, being 15 when I was diagnosed with it. Um, but the thing is with me, like, it's not like from being, like, super overweight or anything. It's just my all my family kind of have, like, mainly diabetes. We Even my brother, who's a twig, we think he's going to have it as well. So it's kind of just unlucky. Um, you know, even my doctor's telling me I'm nowhere near overweight or anything yet. I still got it, so it's just one of them things. But they always offer me like the flu jab and stuff like that because they have to offer it. You. I'm like, nah. I'm like, I'm just gonna see how it goes. <laughs> I would refuse it. I think my mentality is, if if I if I die from it, then obviously I was too weak. <laughs> I know it's probably not the best of like ways to think about it, but I, I've always kind of been like that. I don't like medication and I don't like hospitals I think like if I get uh, injured myself like the only time I'll go to like a hospital or the doctors is if I like I think I'm about to die like, and that's what I know like, my mother's always said she only she knows when I'm seriously ill if I'm saying take me to the hospital because that means I'm like in the middle of dying and I've I've literally been on my deathbed like six times already in my life and it's not even a joke um, I'm just so unlucky yeah like, if, if, you, if you want to believe in miracles, that's the miracle that I'm still somehow here. It really is, guys. <laughs> I always seem to have something wrong with me, something going on. Is that how I'm being extremely self-centered and it's just what everyone has? Which is potentially true. Right. Oh, yeah, we're at 11. Come on. We're just going to have to kind of chill around here and hopefully... Yeah, look at that. You know, unfortunately, the sword's the hardest thing to level up, guys. And, like, as you can see, it's not doing the best as possible. But eventually, um, I'm hoping, I'm hoping we can get Killer Joe in this. I think it's with Ender.io as well. Um, if we got Killer Joe's in this and I can make a mob spawner, oof, it'll be fine. It'll be all sweet from that point onwards, guys. Because I'll just give Killer Joe this sword and let him kill everything. <laughs> I can come back in two days and then the sword will be leveled up beyond belief. Then I can put all of the sharpness on and all of the other bits and bobs on too. So it's great. We need a gluttony charm. That's what we need. We need to make ourselves a gluttony charm. So we can eat food instantly. I believe I see some smoke over there. Yep. Yeah, I see you. I'm coming around. Don't worry, don't worry. I see, I see you, I see you. 
<laughs> well, we're at 22 already. It's not too bad. Shoot back around. Meow. I think if our speed gets any more, though, it's going to start causing a bit of issues, potentially. I always sometimes fall off some places where I don't mean to because you just, you know. It's annoying though going from this speed, yeah, back to normal. It's like it's not working possible. Oh no, it's burning. But look, guys, armor's okay. It's all good. Just wait till we get more toughness as well when we put end more armor. I can't wait till we get like diamond because diamonds ups it and everything. Like, you can see all the bars above my hunger though. Like I said, I've got to get this, I've got to download an old world mod pack for armor bars and toughness bar um, so that it changes colors instead of going up because otherwise we're going to have like five or six rows of stuff in the way, which is just going to ruin my gaming experience and your viewing experience because all you'll see is loads of stuff in the way of what we're looking at. And we don't want that, do we? There you go. And you know, I'm gonna actually have to look into what I need now. Maybe we should do a bit more astral sorcery as well, guys. You know, because here's the whole point of me like doing all the like going into these mods separately as well. I know it might seem like a bit side -way, like why why are we doing this and it's not part of it because it's just the bonuses you get. Like um, we can make prism. Ta like talisman that we can actually put from astral sorcery yeah on our hot bars here and some of them are stupid like if you're really lucky you can get like a full plus to all enchantments that you're worth using so if we had it on we would literally have looting seven yeah we could have looting seven and fortune seven and everything instead of fortune three and looting three you know if you've got protection and stuff on your armor it gives you it adds four levels on anything so you know, it, it is actually insane. Um, it's really rare to get that one, though. Like, you're more likely to get plus two and, like, maybe plus two to existing sharpness and stuff. But you can re-roll it. It's just a bit, bit of effort, really, to get it done. Honestly, once it's done, oof, is it worth it. And it's stuff like that that I want to be able to show you guys. Because, as I've mentioned a couple of times now, not everyone is, at, you know, at the same skill level as playing these type of games, you know. And it's not a bad thing. It takes time, like... You know, I'm not as good at other games as, you know, I'm not that great at this game, I don't think, you know. But people, there's got to be people that are, you know, really bad at other these games. And they're going to be like, oh, wow, you're amazing. And I'm like, I'm not. But, <laughs> you know, um, it's each to his own. You've always got different skill level. And I want to be able to showcase everything to help everybody out. So by showing a bit more in depth than other people might be doing on, say, for Astral Sorcery, it teaches everyone how to get your perks. It teaches you how to get an advantage for when you're going through these stages. Like, I couldn't have went and beat the Hydra if I didn't have my Astral Sorcery started. No doubt in my mind. You if you guys saw that episode, you, you saw what happened with that Hydra. Like, we were struggling. I didn't expect it, you know? And if we didn't have our armor sorted and stuff like that, you know, we would have been at a disadvantage. But obviously, we sorted them things out, and then hopefully you guys did the same and then found it a lot easier to get through. This was the whole point of it. Now we're at 51. Um, we're almost there. This is what happens, guys. We end up doing stuff like this and I end up having to waffle. Apologies. <laughs> just end up waffling <laughs> just to get through it. Um, go away, fire. No fire allowed. Jump, 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 jump. Come on already. Hey. Any more for any more? Come on. Come on. I don't think this pack's got Draconic Evolution. Which is not necessarily a huge like, you know, I don't want to be all in the, in the title, but it's one of my more favourite mod packs, but you do end up OP, like nothing can damage you at some points, you know, so it's a bit overpowered, and like I say, I I used I played like other mod packs. I played um, all the mods four, um, and literally became a god within like a month of playing it. My friend, no, nothing could kill me, nothing could damage me. I was literally invincible. I didn't even need to wear armor, yeah. 
Um, anyone knows about anything about re uh, Void Resource? I think it's it Void Resources or something like that with the mod pack. Um, it's OP. Like if you create that, once you've got that sorted, oh my god, you are, you are you 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 can be so OP. You just build a beacon, and then this beacon literally protects you from every type of damage and everything. It's ridiculous. Um, and then you combine it with like maxing out astral sorcery and other things like that. And then the other one we had like uh, Tinker's apples. So I I think at one point I ended up with like four hundred hearts. And it was within a month, and I was so bored. And then when I said to my friends, I was like, you know, I, I want a challenge because like they were they weren't I, I got so far ahead they were just like yeah we'll leave you to it sort of thing and we were looking at like what mod packs and that and then one of my friends said he's played this before and it was hard and I played it for that week and then I was like yeah this is sick I'm enjoying it and then I was like oh what can I do because I was just sat up literally I was sat up one night and I was like hmm really bad what do I do and I remember looking at the YouTube and I'm like I created it a couple of weeks like a month before that and I was like I just need I'm like I'm like I just need something to do you know, and, and then I just thought, well, wait a minute. If I'm enjoying what I'm doing, why not just do that? Do you know what I mean? Um, you know I'm turning them in, but I'm pretty sure I can use glue in this recipe instead. Save myself the slime box. Which, pretty sure. Yeah, look, glue will do too. Sorted. See? We're not all silly. It's still silly, but not all silly. Not completely silly. Uh... Sand. So the sand and gravel, I believe. Sorry, not gravel. Oh, so we're gonna make more of these, essentially. Is this not right? What, what are we gonna do, man? Oh, it's never right. Not sand. Duh. I don't know why I thought sand. Do we have the never right? I know I crushed a load of it up. What are you doing? Stop it. This will be. Okay. I guess there's no avoiding it. Apologies. I gotta go back. Just oh wait, we gotta excavate. Never mind. It's not gonna take a long time. I'm like, oh, we gotta go back, and it's gonna take a little bit of time. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> Look, we're just gonna come over here. We're just gonna pick up normal never right just in case it doesn't accept the other type. Look, we're gonna run here just like so. We're gonna hold this key and we do that. Oh wow. Wow. Oh damn. It's not because it just puts up that much. I think actually fortune applies when I do that to these blocks as well. Damn. You see, usually, oh hi, I, I thought it was a bit quiet there, no worries man, no worries, welcome back. Um, yeah, usually like your food and uh, durability kind of stops this, but obviously because we got it invincible, we don't have to worry about it, we can just go crazy with it. But yeah, that's all the blaze rods and stuff, you didn't miss much flame, we were just um, grinding away and I was chatting about rubbish, don't worry about it. Um, Oh, well, okay, <laughs> we're not going to question it, we're just going to move on with our lives, guys. Okay, so let's just chuck all that there for now, shift click once, did I put the sauce on the back, yes I did, alright, so I believe, was it this, just to double check, yay, slimy magma mode. Sorted. I'm not even bothered about this right now. That I can, that can all go away. Yeah. Oh, you're still burning that? Okay, we'll put this over here then. Probably just build a furnace. It is quicker, but this doesn't cost any fuel. Because there's no fuel right now, and it's pretty good. What we'll do, once we can build bonsai hoppers, and we can constantly grow wood, we'll get that filtered, yeah, into like one of these, or we'll get it filtered into a furnace, and we'll have it like self-powered to be basically make charcoal and then we'll have that constantly filtering into like furnaces so we can use it faster honestly for anyone new to modded minecraft the stuff you can do with it is ridiculous it's basically like anything you can imagine you can pretty much do as long as you know how that's the secret though you got to know how all right 
Now, one thing we need to kind of look at is the embossment that we were looking at, all right, guys? So, let's get ourselves the materials a new book. Yeah, just want to remember what we need for it. So, if we come up here, modifiers, embossment, yeah? That's what it was. So, yeah, it's just a block of gold with each of the crystals and then whatever you're actually looking to put on. So it doesn't really matter what the tool piece is, except from the, what you want the trait to be applied to the tool, yeah? And obviously in our case, we're gonna be making steel plates, so we need a decent-ish amount of steel. And then what is it, is, is it 12 we're gonna need? Yeah, I think it's gonna be 12 pieces. Which luckily, we can just burn this. And free them. In here. And we'll make our plates to be able to actually put the embossment on our armor and we'll see the big boost that we get wasn't there you see because no 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 not you not you what, what did I just do there? I put it away already didn't I there we go materials are new let's grab it back out um, I'm pretty sure steel has a good effect on tools or not I can't remember I think it did steel here we go no it gives you stiff or sharp there we go it's a command that leaves them bleeding for a short time. Um, right. That's not too bad. And then you get stiff if you want that. Block it reduces the damage taken even more. Uh. So if we were to... Here's the thing, guys. Like, embossment now for a weapon is going to be... There's lots of different things we can use. Um, I don't know later on if this mod pack... Like, lead gives us a poisonous and heavy... So, prevents knockback, poisons enemies on hit. That's just going to give us extra poison, you know, like, it's without a thing. So, we could either choose to, like, do we want to poison them or do we want to cause them to bleed, you know? Um, or, potentially, no, we don't, no, none of them really cause too much fire, like, the fire is the firewood. Firewood has auto smelt, but that's not going to really do much, I'm thinking. I thought it would set them on fire, but it doesn't. Um... We'll have to kind of look and see what we're going for. Manually and we'll copper, all this other stuff. Dredrium, can't really look into just yet. The electric steel's not too bad, you know. Um, it does get kind of like, look, if you think shocking, look, running around, breaking blocks, or hitting things charges your tool. Hitting an enemy discharges it, dealing damage and preventing, providing a speed boost. Mining, mining a block discharges it, giving you a mining speed boost. I mean, so you see, that's not too crazy. I mean, actually, what would be good, maybe, is putting the shocking on our pickaxe. Not that we really need it, but um, it's, it's just like little bits and bobs that you can kind of look at, you know, getting done. Um, and you can kind of mess about with it and see which one you want to go for. I mean, the selection we couldn't probably do because we have to create that. I don't think we can create that just that easy yet. It's got to do with um, soul forging and stuff like that on this pack. It's all intertwined. Just to be a bit more tedious. Um, but steel wise, like you won't really tell here, but if we grab ourselves the other book, which is to do with the armory, yeah. This is what I was actually kind of trying to explain to guy people. Um, so here's the steel, yeah, and we've already gone over all this toughness stuff, right? But as I said beforehand, this toughness of steel plates gives you a 4.5, yeah, which is great, it really is. But the issue with that is then when we're using the polishing kits only things that are, that give you more than 4.5 will actually increase our stuff and there's not that a lot that does that so we've got our toughness all the way up to 11 which is double what this is and you got to remember we can still now make steel polishing kits which will give us even more toughness like it's a ridiculous amount guys that we're getting yeah and then we're going to eventually get our actual armor up to that level as well and we will be super tough compared and this is all from this one mod you know i don't know what others are available on this one but as we go along we'll kind of unlock them and see if there are any improvements that we can make on it but just this is i'm just trying to kind of showcase what is possible with each mod as we go along so you don't think oh if you if you run into a part where you're like oh i'm finding this really difficult like the twilight forest or anything you know that you can come back and look at my video and go okay well, actually, I could be doing this if I want to get stronger, you know, instead of just giving up. So that's what we're doing. But we're looking for this trait anyway, the indomitable, yeah, which we can just make a trim out of. Actually, we don't have to make the plate because it comes on the trim as well. 
so we didn't need that much but that's okay yeah it's not a bad thing it's not a bad thing all right because we do need to make ourselves some steel things anyway which might give us enough actually it will so yeah perfect look there's the armor trim so we're going to require four of them and we're also going to require ourselves for the where do you go polishing kits there we are all right so there's that we're going to craft the four of these and i'll show you guys how embossment works okay need the rest of the steel polishing kits and we'll make our armor even more tougher it's probably got to go up to like 14 now guys and oh wow when we put the embossment on yeah I think in between like these next episodes or videos that I do I'm definitely gonna have to just download an overload I think it's class like an overload armor toughness and stuff like that so basically you see like the hearts once it goes from red it kind of just changes color to show that you've got more it will do the same for my armor instead of going up and up and up um, which we're going to need I promise you we will need it um, like so with four sand we'll do we've got these we're not going to need all of these right now but it'll do um, oh, they seem to be quicker than the others I don't see why but they did uh, also we can now make polishing kits for them do we have more sand over here we do guys right, watch this is just this is gonna be ridiculous but I'm here to show you guys how if you want to do it you know these are the best ways to go about it so look you can use this and look at the toughness 2.25 of this slime polishing kit now we've already used magma ones so we couldn't put these ones on but we can put these and remember our material that our armor plates are made out of at the moment only start at 1.25 so anything above that will be added to our overall total so this will add an entire one to each piece yeah so we're gonna just make ourselves four just like that and then we've still got eight for the embossment stuff which is fine and plus we can acquire some more of this if we need and same oh no 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 I didn't want to do that we still got enough but it's still fine I got one extra I didn't need that um so yeah what we're actually gonna do before we put the indomitable on this I want to show you guys just how much of like a percentage it will put up right so as I kind of explained so this is at 2.25 yeah and if we click shift on here yeah you can see we used bronze armor plate and it's got a toughness of 1.25 yeah so if anything below 1.25 as a polishing kit will add zero to our overall toughness anything above afterwards yeah will so things that start like this at 1.25 will give us an extra one so if we place that there you'll notice our toughness went up by one okay so like i say i don't know if this is an intended glitch or whether it's just like an inside secret that they kind of left a lot around it's been here for quite a few updates as well um maybe i might be screwing this up for everybody but either way watch my video and get it done you know plus you don't have to do the update if you don't want to so hey either which way you can have fun doing it but I do believe it's intended like if you actually realize and spot the method behind it so just like that we can add that piece to it yeah so we're gonna put the rest there and we're just gonna do that and that's adding even more toughness to it yeah we've still got these ones which are two so this is a bit less so this is only gonna give us a 0 0.75 extra but it's still extra at the end of the day yeah now I believe there's like a whole discussion about toughness and armor and defense and like it not being as valuable but at the end of the day if you can get as much toughness and as much defense as possible why not right I believe it might even be capped at some point just but that we've got the attribute fix which lets us go past the normal protection rates because as I've said before normal vanilla Minecraft no matter what even on modded blocks you at 30 defense yeah what is the point in that when you've got hundreds of bits of armor that can give you more than 30 defense it doesn't make sense yeah it's just it's not programmed but that's why that's why you know attribute fix is an attribute fix it fixes them problems for you all right so it's nice and easy but like at the moment guys look that's 13.12 now yeah here's where a big jump is gonna be the steel polishing kit like i said ready just like that up to 16 yeah you gotta remember not if you would have made this out of this I promise you the max toughness you would have been able to get with everything at the very end would be between seven and eight yeah 
already we're nowhere near the end we've not even added indomitable we've not even put diamonds on or anything like that there's other polishing kits we can still add on later yeah and we're nowhere near we can end up like i think between 20 to 30 toughness in total which is ridiculous and that's on each piece of armor yeah so we're going to be getting like max protection that you can here all right so what we're going to do is we're going to finish putting these up and look at that guys already yeah we've not done the indomitable we've not done the embossment yet but look at this now when we put this on look at all them bars down there on that right it's like all them bars are toughness <laughs> You know, like we're going to be able to sustain some pretty decent damage. But one thing to know is they work kind of in hand. If you had 100 toughness and only 10 de defense, it's not going to be that great. It seems to work better the higher defense you get still. Defense is still primary, but toughness just seems to help that little bit extra as well. Okay, um, so that's what we're kind of going for. I wish someone, whoever made all this stuff up, would give us a proper explanation of why and what the attributes are. But I think they're kind of keeping it a secret just so that people have to keep guessing around. And, you know, it's just one of them in it, like an insider thing. Um, so luckily we've got some gold blocks here. So we need four gold blocks. We've got our pieces here. And we've got our crystals. So, here comes embossment. Now, for any of you messing about with this, please know, and it does tell you in the book, this is permanent. Yeah? If you emboss an item to your actual armor piece or anything like that, that trait cannot be changed again. You cannot emboss a different item even if you go and get all the bits and pieces, yeah? You will be stuck with that on that piece of item. So if you do something and realize that you found something better afterwards, yeah? You have to create an entire armor again. And that if you've gone for expensive materials or you've done what we've done where we've got loads of levels and stuff, it could be an entire ordeal. So just think about it. If you want to copy me exactly, you can. I've done this all before, yeah? I've looked at different things, all right, and how to do this, yeah? And I already know that putting steel on for the indomitable is a very good use of the embossment for your tool, yeah? And you'll see why, because it allows you to get the advantage of the indomitable, but it doesn't put your stuff through the roof like you need, all right? So that's where we're getting this from, okay? So I hope you guys understand, like, when you're doing it, like, at your own risk, okay? <laughs> don't blame me if you mess it up all right that's basically it so as you can see at the moment it'd like to kind of tr switch out our trim here yeah which would actually put our defense up by quite a bit i don't see how what oh yeah sorry it's because of the indomitable yeah but we also lose the skeletal so you see our toughness kind of goes down a bit as well yeah so it's a bit of a switch out there you could do that if you wanted to but we're going to get the indomitable as well as keeping what we've got all right and to do so we're just going to put these up here, like so. And then we're going to put that here. Okay? So as you can see, right, that's going to still give it us. Yeah? But if we click this, look, still we've still got a bone armor t trim. Yeah? We've still got bronze armor plate and other things like that. Yeah? So that's still good. Skeletal makes your armor tougher. We don't really need skeletal at the moment, but we'll be switching that out later for either an emerald trim yeah or it will be for the nightly slime and there is reasons for that nightly slime gives you extra health right um extra hearts so when you've got it on each piece it gives you like an extra 10 hearts or extra eight hearts or something it's pretty decent so you'll have that all the time and then you've got the emerald which actually gives you regeneration and if you've got that on each piece it's very good for you okay um you can regenerate and like stand in fire all day and stuff like that it's great so that's the whole point of it all guys yeah I, i've like pissed i've messed about with this quite a bit so i know a fair deal about what you know works and what doesn't but for now putting this on is going to give us a decent extra bit of armor okay from the indomitable yeah remember this is permanent now this step all right so no complaining when you mess it up <laughs> Then you have re Regen 4. Uh, yeah, uh, no, I believe each Regen tick, basically, um, every two seconds it will heal you, um, give you a bit of Regen, which gives like half a health each Regen part. So it actually applies from when you put your armor on. So when I eventually get it, I'll showcase how it works properly. And there's a bit of a secret to how you do it. If you place it like 
just one after another at a specific time, you can get it so it's almost always healing constantly. Um, so it's a bit of a way of tripping up the system, but yeah, it's pretty good. Um, but for now, as you can see, we're a lot tougher and we've got a lot more defense already. Yeah, And it gets better because obviously we're still not using anywhere near the toughest material for armor and protection. Um, and we're not using, we've not put diamond on, which gives you a decent boost to all your stats. And like I say, we've got other aspects that we can look into. Um, a lot of people like, you know, try to go to other mod packs for armor and stuff, but like, I, 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 I like to mess about with each one to kind of see where it leads. And as you can see, it is worth your effort going down this road, especially at the beginning of these packs, because you've not got much else really available to you. All right. But there is our armor all sorted for now yeah we still got one modifier left so have we, have we got redstone enough to maybe get this extra speed that we want in i mean we can kind of go and find some quickly since we can mine it super duper quick but if we have any we can just kind of pinch it for now we got like a little bit sign around this is why we need our system sorted guys no matter what Hmm, I think it's 50 per level, so we've not got enough right now. Okay. Right, enough messing about. Uh, we're going to get this draw controller sorted so I can actually have organisation. But we need to go to the nether to find it, don't we? We need more of this stuff here. Nether amethyst block. I can make the rest of this stuff here at the base. Nice and easy. It's just this, which you can only get from the nether. Ah. <sighs> Here we go again. It's just not that easy to find an environment that we've kind of been given. We'll have to see what we do to go about getting it, but we'll we'll go have a run about quickly and see if we can't just scramble together a few pieces and get some mods. Okay. Um, I don't know what these flowers are about. They seem to kind of pull you in different directions. <laughs> it's really annoying. Okay. Um, I guess. Do we want to go down here? Not really. I can help it. You okay? You okay? You good? Good. Oh, jump. Climb. Oh. Just trying to walk through the ice there. Problem is, it's also red and thingy in this place, and it's similar colour, to be honest with you, to most of the other blocks. And I don't know if it's biome Pacific, like, I don't know if it just spawns in this biome or not. What is this? Mushroom stem or something. Okay. Obviously you can see quartz nice and easily. It's not like they're an issue. Oh, done. Quartz. Um, bloop, bloop, bloop. Obviously we probably do move too quick as well to kind of see it properly, but... I honestly think it is biome pacific, so we might actually have to kind of keep going until we get to a different type of biome. We did seem to just kind of spawn in the icy area. Seems a bit silly to me, but... Is that some there behind that? No. This is that rhyme stuff. What are you? What are you even used for? To make this or potions, yeah, yeah. See, didn't want it. I don't need to be able to freeze stuff. I need the different type of purple block. Yeet, yeet. No, it doesn't damage us that much, so we can just chill. In fact, <laughs> this is the advantage of all the toughness and armor and stuff, man. We've got blue mushrooms. It's a bit annoying for your screen, but. As you can kind of see, health wise, we can just tank it. That's not one of them. Oh, I just want out of this biome. Oh, blue, is that liquid blood or red? Probably distilled redstone or something, to be honest with you. Um, come on, we don't want to get lost as well. Make sure we pick up some of these. As we upgrade our salt, we can start adding extra damage and stuff to it, which is great. I'm 
Listen, we got. I think we got so unlucky with these spawns in the first recently. It's annoying. Oh, look, I think there's some over there, guys. So, this stuff here is what we require. Luckily, with our reach, we can just do this. Double check there's nothing else there. So, we got three just like that, you know, it's not too bad. I think fortune does apply to it, it's just kind of a bit rare. That's all. Maybe this will just staircase up here a little bit. Keep our eye out for that purple glow. Honestly, it's taken quite a while as well till you get diamonds on this, which is a bit annoying. Um, I know I didn't. You didn't unlock it last time on age four, so I do wonder when you actually unlock it properly. Okay, so let's keep going. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not interested, dudes. I got places to be, people to see. Hmm. Usually, kind of seems to be like almost in the walls to a degree. Um, let's keep pushing. Let's see. What's going on. All right. Yeah, keep hitting me, you gotta hurt yourself. Yep, yep, yep. Look, look, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna kill yourself before you even damage me? Go away. Aha, uh -huh, see? Yeah, it seems like in the sides, like I don't I don't know if oh is it just easier to kind of spot that way potentially. Oh we got seven from there. We might have enough back at base, but we did kinda of want two. That's the only issue really. Um, we need at least two for our setup that we got right now. Then we can make what we need to make and get it done. Oh, look, there's a skeleton. Come on, any more for any more? You know you want to give me some more. Come on, game. Yes, 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 this hurts, that hurts, everything hurts. It's okay. Thank you. Mild inconvenience there. Blah, 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 blah. Um, it's in from with all these biomes, like, in this place. It's ridiculous. Oh, hi, big spider. Turn to the baby spiders. I know you want to be my friend, but you're not allowed. Shift mine that, done. Alright, lucky little. I'm not interested, alright. Hopefully we've got some bits in the wall here, but we're going to keep looking right behind us, just in case. See, I don't know if you find it just like mining normally, but I'd need to do a bit more research on it, but like, as far as I know so far, I've only ever seen it just kind of like, in the walls and stuff as I've been running about, you know? So kind of where I'm sticking at. Going to be fine. Yeah, 
feel like just kind of getting back up to this one place, aren't we? It's a bit annoying. If we head over in a complete different direction, then. Don't worry, guys. We'll find it. We'll find it. We'll find what we need. Ow. Stop pressing one. Press. Oh, wow. Wrong button. Go away. I didn't even want you. Oh, they dropped copper. Give me a flame string. Sweet. Flame pump has been thrown. Ah, no. I'm going to sneeze again. Oh, hello Spyro Drive, you okay? Alright, what is that? It looks cool, but I don't know what it is. So this looks like almost a bit of a different type of biome. Got mushrooms on the map. I don't know why. Oh, is that still an issue? I, it's, it's look how low it is. Like, the problem is, um, especially when I'm recording in the day, there we go. Is that is that any better or you'll have to let me know. Mm, I don't know what obs is. Kinda new to all this, so I apologize for any poor performance. Right now we're still looking for this bloody Crystal. Come on. Where are you hiding? Show me a little purple glisten. We'll find you. Yeah, we really do move rapid at the moment. I don't even know if we need the extra percentage. I'm leaning towards saying that we don't. Oh, there's some in the roof. Look at that. It, it's hiding. Spotted it. Can we reach it though? Okay, it's all the way up there. We will tower. Oh shit, we'll go to tower now. Oh. Right, right. Hey, a little bit of a cave for some two. Why not? Just a one. Well, I mean, there's nine. Uh, we've got enough for the one. And I know we've got some back at base, so I'm just going to kind of keep pushing just since we're in this place now, hopefully find the last bits we need. I know it's a bit tedious, guys, but... Uh, I've not really messed about with too much of that stuff, mate. Um, like I say, I'm new. Like, I'm not, I've only been streaming for like a week or something. But thanks, I'll have to I'll look into that and see what that is. The only reason my mic, my mic volume is a bit messed up is um, I've got the mic monitor on quite low because I live on a main road and in the daytime, there's nothing but traffic, like literally thousands and thousands of cars. So, and plus my laptop decides to like tune in on the video and stuff when it shouldn't. So I just kind of have it low to make sure that that volume doesn't come through because a few of my first videos on YouTube and that you can kind of hear it in the background sound like it's about to take off. <laughs> and that's kind of the way I fixed it for now um, but I did notice sometimes it is a bit kind of overlapping like you said it's a bit difficult to hear my voice sometimes as well as the volume although it shouldn't be if you think about the fact that this is on 2% now you'll have to let me know is it a bit better than what it was before or alright that's good don't want it to be silent as well when I'm not talking, that's all. Okay, come on, just a few more crystals. A few more bits of amethyst. Probably should have checked how much I've got back at the base. It's pretty rare stuff, this. And I'm a bit annoyed that they made it the requirement to build your bloody controllers for it. I wonder what extra they go extra length they're gonna make you go to just to be able to build the bloody what's it called the computer systems and that.
Wait, are you asking me if I'm lost? <laughs> I'm not lost, don't worry. I don't know where I am, but I'm not lost. If that makes any sense. <laughs> I'm sure it does. Right now, we're just still looking for this stuff. What's going on? <laughs> Ah, uh, there's some. So they do pop on the ground as well. Do they pop any more around, or is it like just really just like one in a cluster or something? I think it is just like the one. You can get like one or two now and again. Oh well, we'll make do, we'll make do. Hey, lava. Hi, lava. It's a good job with too tough in it. <laughs> Although I'm not eating no food right now, so probably not the best of ideas. Let's kind of get over here. Be all right once we get our regen going, guys. Right. Oop. Okay. We just need. A little bit more of it, not too much more, just a little bit more. Show yourself, you sneaky little crystal, you. Up, 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 up. Any over it? No, not really. Ah, wait a minute, there we go. We're not at this conversation, spider. Shall we get? Ain't the way. Let's eat a bit of food. Your babies can die by hitting me while I just check. So we're at 16. Um, I'm sure we've got like two bits at home, but the more we can find now, the better. So while we're kind of working our way back, we can have a look around. Or maybe we're lost. I don't know. Maybe Spyro Drive thingy. No, we're not lost. We got our map. We're all good. I don't think there was any more over here, really. Oh, I see you. You know, one thing I've not noticed. Um, yeah, it did have a baby, exactly. <laughs> one thing I've not noticed. Um, in this nether through this pack is whether it had gas. I've not had a gas shoot at me once in the nev in this nether. Now I know obviously they're in the twilight forest with the gas and all that, but I'm just, I don't know if that's intended or not. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Right, let's check our map. So we're like all the way up here. We've got to kind of go all the way over here. This way, apparently. Okay, let's go. Right, we're up on this next level now, aren't we? Let's go down. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, look at that. Ain't even take no damage. That's what toughness gets you. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna run back like kinda this way. And just kinda hopefully build our way back up. And we can get back, build our draw system and get some decent organization going. Yeah, Flame, you're, you're still watching this, mate. Like, um, you, you'll, uh, you know, ho hopefully you'll see some stuff that you didn't, didn't get around to doing. But honestly, you missed out, man. You, if, you, if you can, you know, you need to start playing it again. So you can actually enjoy what, it, what it's got to offer. It's, it's a really good pack. Ooh, look at that. See, I knew we'd find some on the way back. Yeah, sorry Spyro, when, when I mean join, I mean like kind of join along. I've not got a server set up yet, mate. <laughs> I'm not I'm not in a stage like, I've literally just been doing like for two weeks now, you know, like YouTube and tr streaming. So I'm just kind of building up my channel and learning how to do things properly. And so at the moment, this is kind of like a bit of a walkthrough. Um, slash like play along, you know, so like it, I'm kind of showing people every kind of bit that I, ca that I know and like learning it at the same time. And then people can obviously watch and hopefully... 
I just make a video that can be understood for people to learn. So when I say join, I mean, you know, if you want to download it and everything, you can kind of join along as I play along and, you know. Then when you join me on the Twitch, you can always ask questions or anything that's confusing you. That's what I'm using Twitch for anyway. I just put these videos up, stream, talk to you guys, interact a bit more. Because obviously YouTube's great, but until I start like streaming live on YouTube, which I'm not, not wanting to do yet, you know, I want to keep that for Twitch at the moment. This way. Do you want to go down there? Or down there? Let's check the map. Map, map, reveal all. Which way should I fall? <laughs> oh, yo, you don't even give me anything anymore as well. Like, seriously, go away. You hurt yourself. How do you feel? That's more of that rhyme stuff, unfortunately. Just a little baby. Yeah. 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 Right. Catch up with yourself, thank you. Yeah, that's still that rhyme stuff. So we can flank ourselves up this way. Yeah, we'll get back home. Go away. No, no, I didn't mean you go away, but there we go. Jump. And we're up this part. So much fire. That's not the confusing fire, is it? No. Just blue fire, okay. <laughs> this direction. Not up. We're gonna go down this way or something, aren't we? Yeah. Is it up here? Yeah, I think it is. Up here's gonna get up to where we need to be. All right, sweet. Yeah. Oh, break this one. So we can climb up here. Climby, climby, climb. Sorted. Hey, and look at that, we're pretty much back home. And this isn't. What, how is it? I don't know why. And here we go. Back home we go, guys. Back home we go. Hey, Spyro Drive, you know, if you're enjoying it, mate, just, rem just remember to uh, follow and you can check out my YouTube and other things like that. And then. Next time I'm actually live streaming, if you want to kind of play along with us, like I was saying, you know, you'll be able to just follow and jump in and chat and see what's going on. Right. So. All and ever rubbish goes there for a second. We'll get it all. So. It's better, fellas. <laughs> what better? Okay, then we've got this because have we got any more of this lying around? I'm sure we should have. If not, I'm glad I managed to get the two that we needed, but still. There we go, there's the two made. Okay, chuck you away. I'm sure I did though. Don't kind of remember where I might have put it. Hmm. It's a mystery. So the draw controller for storage drawers. So there's that, that taken care of. We're going to need eight plates. We need two star metal ingots. We've got a load of that. Oh, you think I should try and save fellas instead of guys? Mm. You see, that would mean I have to consciously think about what I'm saying. And I don't do that too often. <laughs> I can try by all means whenever you're here, Flame. <laughs> if, that, if that's how you prefer it. I think everyone says guys just because it's easier to say. Fellas is more of, um, I want to say, a grown-up term. But by grown-up, I mean like a different generation. Like, I'm 24. So, and I live in Manchester, UK, and that's so... 
people don't really use say fellas that much oh yeah if you're opening sev tech uh, drive like it, it does take a while um what launcher are you using let me know because um if you're using twit the twitch launcher yeah 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 so if you actually go to the options on the launcher yeah there's a minecraft tab in that yeah and that's got like your dedicated ram okay and depending on what system you're using you want to up that to half of what your uh, computer is okay so if you've got 16 gig ram yeah it probably says you've got like 14 gig available so you want to allocate like say seven to eight thousand megabytes and that will let it run a bit faster for you but it does still take a while anyway it should take about 10 minutes to launch I don't tend to close it that much when it's launched. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking of making videos on this stuff as well, just to show people like how to get around it and stuff, any issues that they have. I know there are already ones there, but it's just in that case, if people are enjoying the series and they want and they see it, I can link them straight to that video. It makes it easier, you know. Uh, so right, we need eight plates. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, you'll be fine then. It just takes some time. You're probably just not used to it, that's all. <laughs> like I say, it does take ten, like 10 minutes even with the right amount dedicated to it. Oh, have you got 32 RAM? I take it you're on a PC, not a laptop, right? Unless you could have 32 on your laptop, but it's a pretty big RAM for a laptop, that. Of, which we've got eight there. Yeah, so I'll just switch to different one. Yeah, desktop. All right, Flame. We didn't we already establish you like to flex? Just ignore him, Spyro. He likes to put flex on, you know. You get banned for no reason from servers. I, I don't know if I believe that, you know. I mean, I'm sure there's got to be some reason. Maybe they just don't like you. That could be a reason. It's not a good, fair reason, but it, <laughs> it's still a reason, right? Okay, so we're going to need to make ourselves. We've got the redstone ally. We need a few more vacuum, which is a nickel plate, glass, that, and that, which sure we might have already prepared I know we got the nickel right yeah so we got some nickel here <laughs> exactly Spyro's got it right I bet you don't have to serve him just flexes on everybody and just beats them he's like oh yeah 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 you do this I'm gonna join I'm gonna buy the max package yeah and I'm gonna go from zero to a hundred <laughs> instantly <laughs> You go straight into the PvP with like the god tier package, just lays waste to everyone at level one. <laughs> you could just picture it now, right? We got the nickel. Okay. So you give me this and this. What we do is we beat that up. And we pick it up, put some down. Make ourselves a plate just like that, guys. And then we've got a plate. Then what was the other thing? We gotta put that there so we know where it is. It's just a red one redstone, right? And the electrical wiring, wherever I might have put that. 
wouldn't have chucked a bit, would I? That, made, that would make no sense for me to do. Potentially, though. Potentially. <laughs> oh, okay. We left this over here already. So we can do that. Bam. That's that sorted. Um... Oh wait, no, 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 we need two for that, don't, damn it. Okay, luckily it's not too expensive, we just need to make some more of these plates. Just realised. So we only get two, for, we're just going to make like, well, we're going to make all of them. Screw it, that's what we're doing. We'll get more nickel in that later on. Give me them plates. Put you over here with this. So we need eight redstone in that. There you go. There's that. And just grab eight redstone while we're at it. Are you a blacksmith or something? <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> you've got to do all this stuff, unfortunately, for now. Um, the pack kind of escalates if you've not like played it before. So you start off in like the, if we press L, you start off in this stage where you've got like loads of wood and stuff like that. Um, and then as you progress, you kind of progress with evolution through human, you know, like real life. So you start to learn bits and bobs about, you know, metals and stuff. Um, and then you've got to forge it. And obviously in real life, you can't just get an ingot and then make it into stuff. You've got to put it into a plate to be able to mold and things like that. <laughs> but yeah eventually we won't be doing blacksmithing don't worry about it we can make a metal press and that'll be coming up in the next couple of episodes but for now we're just doing the bits we need for this um and right now i need myself eight redstone come on jump sorted let's get down here oh 24 then sweet so to make this we need to make ourselves some of these so we got them we need iron plates here we go blacksmithing again guys don't worry about it um uh i don't i don't think i've got well, I, i'm on discord like i use discord but it's on it's in like another group with my friends and that i'll have to look at it after doing all this and get it set up seems like a few people are wanting to kind of access it as well so i'll have to look at getting it set up so i can actually like link it to you guys if you just want to chat on that and that and that way you know we can just chat live and stuff so right so we need this we're going to need eight of them so we're going to have to smack that up more blacksmithing yet again um wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute i'm pretty sure actually i can make a plate cast now as well so one second give me give me two of them we're gonna make a cast. I'm sure we can. If I get a, pl have I got a plate lying around? Just a random plate. Come on. No, no, just random plate. Okay, we'll just we can't add. A, can we use a gold plate for it? I don't think we could. We're not using steel. So, by the looks of it, the only the blacksmith is the smart one in the village, then. The villagers are just stupid, yeah? Is that what we're saying? <laughs> the blacksmith makes it all for them, and then they just fight the creepers and everything and die. <laughs> we go and take all their loot. Maybe that's why they don't survive, actually. I mean, have you ever been to a village and not stolen its loot? Maybe we should try that. <laughs> Maybe that's the reason. Yeah, maybe if we left the loot, we'll we'll come back round, you know, later in the game, and we'll find them all armoured up and stuff. Imagine if that was a feature in the game and nobody knew because we always steal the loot, eh? <laughs> I don't know if we'd be bad or not. There we go, there's our plate that we need, okay? Nice and easy, so now we can just make things directly into plates. Uh, for now, we just need eight of them, so we'll grab eight and get it made. 
poured into that. So we've got our platinum plates done. We've got that done. We can get the armature easy. We've already got the other thing made. Um, and we just need to make these redstone plates while that's being made. So here we go. Back to hammering. There's our thingy plates. And we've got the tubes, so we just need this iron, which we've got here now. I don't know why it took so long to actually do this part. I should have just done it a, a bit ago. Glass still get this all set up automatically. And that'll be better for me. No, that's mean, that. I remember when they first introduced all this raiding stuff into the villages. <laughs> Playing with a couple of friends in that, and I'm like, I built next to a village, and I'm like, right, I've not got the villagers breeding yet, leave them alone. And then they, they come over with a plague, and I'm like, what are you freaking doing? <laughs> I just get caught up in the middle of a raid for no reason, you start fighting your life <laughs> just to kind of save the villages. Is it, is it taking way longer than 10 minutes for you to load? If that's the case, it's most likely something to do with your PC file, unfortunately. Like, having a load of RAM's great in that, but it depends on what you've got going on as well. It shouldn't take much longer than 10 minutes, like, honestly. Um, I mean, I'm just using my laptop with 16 gig. It's only got 8 gigabytes dedicated to it. And it seems to be fine. You might actually need to lower it because um, I obviously I'm not I'm not gonna say like how thingy you are with a computer or anything. I don't know, but depending on what you've done, you um, might not even actually have your other load of RAM activated. So if that's the case, obviously, then you allocating maybe too much would slow it down. But it shouldn't take more than ten minutes really to load. Like I'm saying, I'm using a laptop with only eight with uh, eight thousand megabytes dedicated on the actual launchers, and it's still loading relatively quick. I mean, just one thing for both of you guys as well. Like, is if if it's true about the amount you've dedicated, that's actually a bit of a ridiculous amount. Like, there's not really any modded Minecraft that would need that much dedicated. Um, I don't know what graphics card you guys are running and everything like that, but it sh it shouldn't make a difference. Like RAM wise, you know, between six and eight gig of RAM seems to work perfectly fine. You know, you don't get any lagging or latency or issues. Frames per second should be in the hundreds. So maybe dedicating too much might be, you know, a bit a bit too far. I don't know. But if it's definitely taking that long part, the spirals, it's going to be something else. There's some witchery at work behind the scenes. Yeah. I thought I made a button then I was like what <laughs> alright there's another 8 and then this should be ready just to pour into here not redstone is it no, it's, it's getting me worried
I mean, the graphic card shouldn't really come into issue when it's coming to load at all. That's just through RAM. But it also depends on what you're doing at the same time. But if you've dedicated that much to it, you said 16, didn't you, on a 32? Shouldn't be an issue to it. There's no reason I can think of. Oh, save it. It's taking that long. Close it. Double check you definitely saved them settings on your RAM. Uh, if you have, change it down maybe just to 8 gig of RAM. Um, you have to remember sometimes if you've got too much process to one thing, then your background systems aren't able to run to keep up with what's going on, which causes things to slow down. So I'd mess about with that quickly. Spend a couple minutes doing that and then just make sure it's working and then try load it back up. Should work fine. If not, you might need a different launcher. Like I say, I, I, without having your PC kind of in front of me, it's difficult to tell. All I, can, all I can say is what generically works and what don't. Yeah. It's the best bet, mate. Right. Um, grab some of this. Grab some six on it. I think that's... How do we make the trim again? Yes, 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 yes. Right. So if I click draw controller, do we have everything? No, we just need star metal, astral sorcery, open up, and we've got plenty of. We need two. And there we go, guys. We got a draw controller. Yay. Life is finally simpler. Any of you guys don't know like what the draw the storage drawers are, yeah, they're, they're a really fun mod as you can like see like it works this way. But with this controller, the world is complete. Now, whenever I need to put stuff anywhere, I can just double click this, and anything that's already slotted can go away. So let's put that there. The vacuum cubes won't be going there because that's more to do with technology. I think what I'll be doing like off camera at one point is just kind of sorting these bits out to make more organisation. Um, and moving forward with that really so we've got our armor set up we now have our drawers set up which is good but really we just kind of need to go get loads of stuff set this up automatically which I'll probably do on another stream maybe either later today or tomorrow or something like that still got to upload episode 18 I'm going to see what, what I end up doing really Right, guys. Let me just double check or press L. So, yeah, we've done that part. We have already done that. We need to make that and it'll register all this stuff here. Um, we've got the R excavation. I need to kind of show what that does, really. Alright, man. Alright, guys. Um, I'm going to have to end this here because I've got to just go do some stuff in like real life for an hour or so. Um, and then I might just end up jumping back on doing another stream. I'll see how like life goes. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys are all like enjoying this. Obviously, this is behind the grind, so I know it gets a bit boring sometimes. But it is only meant here so you know I can chat with you guys, um, do a bit of the grinding, answer any questions, stuff like that. You know? Um, if any of you aren't, remember just so. Check out my Twitch, follow me, that way you can join in live when I'm actually doing this stuff. I am going to be getting things like Discord and the other social media platforms set up properly so you guys can do. But yeah, just remember to follow the channel so you can see next time I actually come on. You know, check out the YouTube, subscribe, watch the other videos if you want to join along and learn about the actual mod pack itself. Alright guys, I hope you enjoy and I will see you next time I'm live. Bye.